This game recap is presented by IBC Bank. IBC Bank, we do more. The 2017 season started as a mirror image for both San Antonio Brandeis and Bernie Champion. Both teams lost their season opener. Both teams won week two, meaning the winner of tonight's contest here in Bernie would start two and one on the season. Speaking of two and one, that's the series history between the two teams. Brandeis has won the last two meetings between the two teams, including a thriller last year in San Antonio decided by just three points. Speaking of three, two plus one equals three. Well, that's enough about the math lesson. Let's get to the contest here in Bernie between the Broncos and the Chargers presented by IBC Bank. A great night for football in the Hill Country. If there's a more wonderful thing to see than the Hill Country at dusk, it does not exist. Early on, things didn't look pretty for Brandeis receiver Jalen Griffin. Long pass from Kyle Fitzgerald, but Griffin drops what might have been a touchdown. The good news, though, he would make up for it in a really, really big way later on. But before we get back to the football game, if you've never seen a Hill Country sunset ever in your life, you are missing one of nature's most beautiful sights. A little bit of wind knocking our camera around, but still glorious to look at. Second quarter, game tied at seven. Jalen Griffin made up for his first quarter mistake. He ran right by the corner and caught an 18-yard touchdown pass from Fitzgerald, 14-7 Broncos. Next Bronco drive, Fitzgerald with a fake handoff, breaks a couple of tackles, and dives into the scoring zone, 21-7 Brandeis. It looked like Brandeis was on their way to an easy victory, but champion quarterback Davis Brin would lead the Chargers back. He threw a touchdown pass to Mason Holland just before halftime and another one just after halftime to tie the game at 21. Brin finished the contest with three touchdown passes. Remember how I said Jalen Griffin would atone for his first quarter touchdown drop? Oh, yes, he did. He caught not one but two second-half touchdown passes from Fitzgerald. 24 yards and 41 yards on the scores made the point total 35-21 early in the fourth. He finished with 180 yards receiving in those three touchdowns. He did cramp up a little bit in the fourth, but even that couldn't slow him down. Key moment in the fourth quarter, and speaking of atonement, Marlon Flores Flores, yes, he was so good they named him twice, fumbles the ball and champion recovers. This would lead to a charger touchdown. The lead was down to six. But next drive, new head coach David Branscombe puts the ball in his hands. Well, actually, the quarterback did, but anyways, Flores Flores breaks two tackles on his way to a 37-yard touchdown run. 42-27 Brandeis at that point. Game pretty much over. Brandeis would go on to win 49-33 as Flores Flores would score two touchdowns. Atonement might be the word of the game. Griffin and Flores Flores each made mistakes, but rather than letting it snowball, each atoned for their mistakes with touchdowns. They helped me through it all. Uh, every drop, even the first game, I had a couple of drops, but they helped me bounce back, and that's what that's all I had to do. Coach been telling me, uh, playmakers got to make plays, and that's all I had to do. We came with a sign, and we said, man, you know, just do what you do. He's a little antsy. It, it gets like that, but just keep doing what you do, and it ended up working out for him. I got to owe it to my defense, man. Uh, they came out with some turnovers late that were key, and that really helped us out. And we knew when we get on the field, we just need to put it in the end zone and take care of the ball. And that's what we did tonight. I think that's what led us to success. We were up by a touchdown, so it wasn't a clear lead. I was pretty nervous, but then when I got my breakthrough, I started getting more confidence and more confidence in my team and my offense. And then we ended up with the score. They encouraged me. They encouraged me. They told me that it was OK. They told me that it happens, so you just have to fight through it. And I, I, I appreciate my team for that. Champion will start 26-5A district play next week against Medina Valley, while Brandeis will play San Antonio Madison in a battle of the Orange Crush. Look at that great sunset one more time. No matter how many times you look at it, still a beautiful sight. Reporting from Bernie, I'm Greg Sherman for Friday Night Glory.